What's up guys? Travis here at Fry Bros. Uh, today it's 43 degrees and raining and I don't want to get wet and I don't want my camera gear to get wet. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a um, swim bait box video which is actually like three boxes. Um, I've been swim baiting for about the past year. I've been painting them for about two years and I've had a lot of success on them. Um, I haven't caught anything over I think Honestly, that, that big bass out of the last video where it's like four and a half, maybe five pounds. But I do catch a lot of fish. I catch a surprising amount of fish. And there's days that swim baits outfish conventional gear. And it's not that often. And I do get skunked quite a bit. But I'm going to try not to show you guys that footage because that's boring. Um, anybody can just go out casting and reeling. As far as swim bait advice goes, I would say barrier retrieve, dedicate, know what your bait fish is in that water like if you're in a pond or a lake maybe it's bluegill if you're in a lake or a river maybe it's shad it's muddy water throw a fire tiger something white uh, but it's it's still the same basic principle as when you're fishing conventional gear you're just upscaling and maybe the fish don't want to dedicate to the swim bait that day so you just use it as a search bait find big shadows chasing your bait and then you come back in 10 minutes with a jig or a spinner bait or a crank bait or a worm or a creature bait uh, so that's really about it for this little tidbit we're gonna go over here dump out some boxes and show you guys what i've got well i think the easiest way to do this is to just dump them sort them and then i'll show you guys Oh, that's a terrible sound. See you guys afterwards. All right, guys. This is the swim bait collection, except for the other eight that I have to clear coat. So of course we have the internet hate bait. These things definitely catch some fish. I really like the detail in them. You just have to work them slower than what I think most people like. They really don't swim that bad. Believe it or not, that was the first trout bait I ever tried to paint. My paint job eventually evolved to that. It's quite the difference. We got these for muddy water. Really loud. Really loud. Big old BBZ trout, eight inch medium sink. I like to throw these shad in lakes, uh, spillways at dams, and the river, also larger creeks. I don't really throw them in ponds, however, I do throw that in a pond. These are flow glider blanks. They swim really well. Uh, I've caught a lot of fish on them, that's why I have so many. Speaking of having so many, I have, I believe, nine bluegill, and I use all the ones with hooks. The other ones are just backups, because I'm terrified that I'm going to lose them, and I don't want to be stuck without a bluegill. Now with these baits, half of them are slow sink, half of them are floaters. I really like to sit there and work them like a dying bluegill. Uh, this guy's got some serious battle scars on him. It's not really showing up in the footage, but he's caught a lot of fish. You just you just twitch it. Sometimes you reel it to get it subsurface, and you just twitch it here and there. 
these will catch you fish. You can find them online for like 10 or 15 bucks. So these next five baits, these two crappie, white bass, and two mullet, I pretty much only throw in rivers and behind dams. They work really well in faster water. I like to just burn them and then pause, and then burn them and then pause. These next four I bought for small mouthing, uh, which as you guys know from my last video, the swim bait footage, that's the one I was using. Bone white belly, black top, gold cheeks. A nice little trout pattern once again the evolution of the trout here quite the difference you can also see all the paint on the table clear coat nice little fire tiger pattern on one of my glides I have yet to catch anything on either of these two baits but uh, springtime chasing some fatties on those That salmon bait I painted because I got a job in Alaska these past two summers and I decided I needed a spawning salmon swim bait. That's the first one that I ever caught a, a smallmouth on. Actually, a fish on. First swim bait ever. Dedicated to a saw guy pattern one time. That has caught me my smallest largemouth bass on a swim bait. That's a 7 inch bait. I caught a 6 inch fish. So. You don't just catch monsters on swim baits. Nice little Matzuo. As you can see, I've thrown it quite a bit. Look at that hook. That needs to be taken off of there. This bait is basically a jerk bait. Two little shad wake baits. This one's got a slightly more green hue to it. Just depends on water color. That is not a swim bait, but it was in my box, so it made the video. Now these three, I like to burn them. Just like these, cast them out, reel them really fast and pause versus ones that I like to twitch like those oh not that trout I like to twitch all these of course we have the BBZ Rat 40 but uh, that pretty much covers my swim bait arsenal for now I've got about seven more upstairs that I have to clear coat Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below.